And he seriously got good hair, too. He got good hair. You no, 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 because there's colorism when we say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's colorism when we say that. Only, uh, so, because the opposite, see, the thing is this, even like the thing when they when they, they keep, when they keep on saying, when they saying Becky with the good hair. So, if Becky got the good hair, then what? what Someone's do, got the bad hair. Well, who got the bad right. hair? Because the opposite of good is bad. Right. So, once again, we that's colorism. I mean, it is true, bro. Like, you got to... So, so, so my thing is this. See, I'm real. You gotta realize I'm real sharp. Mm. I'm real educated on all this stuff. Mm. So my thing is this. I like to say that it's different textures, and and and, and you got one with coarse, and you got you got you may have a person with coarse, and you may have someone with curly. Mm. You got different textures. That's it. But it's not a such thing as good and bad. Right. It's just different textures. Because if we say um, someone got good hair, then what's the opposite of good? And that's how you check your homeboy after he said some ignorant shit. Welcome back to my channel, Motherfuckers. Hey, so I wanted to briefly discuss this interview that resurfaced with Floyd Mayweather, his son, and the host of Drink Champs, Nori. So this interview actually took place about a year ago, but it's resurfacing now on Instagram and Twitter with hundreds of comments giving Floyd his props for checking his homeboy, Nori. Now he went up there, Nori told him that, listen, man, you're my favorite athlete of all time. He sang his praises, and even with all of that ass kissing, okay, Floyd still checked his homeboy. And his comments really came out of nowhere. You know, Floyd mentioned that his son does have a significant other. And Nori got really excited about Floyd's son getting some ass. And he's like, yeah, you know, you got the good hair. Look at you with the good hair. Record scratch. Hold on. We don't do colorism over here in his family. Floyd is very protective over his son. He spoke on protecting his son, having his son back, creating a life and legacy for his son. For Nori to just come in and just spew all of that colorism all over his son, he said, ah, 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 not in this African-American house, okay? Now, you can tell that Nori was absolutely baffled, bewildered, and befuddled, honey. He thought he was giving that man a compliment and got shut the hell down. Who's got the bad hair? Well, who got the bad right. hair? Because the opposite of good is bad. Right. So, once again, we that's colorism. <laughs> I mean, it is true, bro. Like, you got it. So even his white co-host sat up there and said, I mean, that is true, bro. You know, if he has good hair, what does bad hair look like? And again, people judging this base off of curl pattern because you don't know if his hair is healthy or not. You don't know his hair care routine. You don't know what's going on on his scalp. So to look at someone's hair pattern, curl pattern and say, oh, that's good hair, that is that slave-minded white supremacist mentality. And he got checked and he ain't know what to do. I know he low-key wanted to be like, you know what? Let's clap it up for colorism. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. Thank you for educating me. <laughs> But instead, he sat there all confused. Now, I was reading some of the tweets because I don't know too much about Nori. I don't follow him. I know he is Afro-Latino. I saw this tweet that said, Nori is one of those black Hispanics that think they're Hispanic, not black. I think this person meant to say he's one of those Afro-Latinos that's sticking with the Latino and dropping the Afro. You know, Nori definitely gives me, I know black, I Puerto Rican when it's convenient, and I know Puerto Rican, I'm black when it's convenient as well. Now, the tea does get a little bit hotter, so I saw a few comments of people mentioning Nori giving his wife the black card. Someone said, didn't Nori say his wife, who's not black, should be able to go on a black woman's retreat because she has black kids? Hmm... And so I went digging, honey, so I could bring y'all these receipts. And I found this clip of Love and Hip Hop where Nori's wife confronted Shayla, Ace Hood's wife, about not being invited to an all black women's retreat. Also, the last time we were at her house, when I asked you about the retreat, you were like, oh, I don't want you to get offended, but it's only for, you know, black women. So I was a little uncomfortable after that. I guess just the way you said it, it kind of like threw me off guard. I was confused too. Yeah. Because it was like, we're, you're talking about it, and you're like, oh, but first, okay. I just want to say thank you for bringing it to me in the way that you did, that, that you even felt some type of way. Because you and I did just me, and I also have empathy for the way that you feel. Yeah. Like, we all understood the feeling of being like, whoa, shit, where did that come from? Yeah. Like, so I was just protecting my brand. And I think that's where 
in the conversation, I could see where it kind of came off wrong to you. If you are pro-black, sometimes people assume that it means you're anti something else. Yeah. And it's not true. I love women, period. Yeah. Happy, healthy women create happy, healthy families, communities, societies, and a world. And that's my mission above all. My own mother and my own sister are not black. So it would never make sense for me to say I only care about the well-being of black women. However, I just think that there needs to be a special place for us. The version of the world that I want to see that is kinder to black women, that respects black women, that honors them, we don't live in it every day. So Curvy Curly Conscious is the space for black women to go, to learn, to grow, and to heal. And I feel like we deserve healing and growth like everybody else. Now, I can do a whole separate breakdown on this part of the video, but I feel like y'all already know what I was going to say. So this is Nori's wife, I believe her name is Neri, and she confronted Shayla about being excluded from the all black women's retreat. When I first saw that, I was like, wait, what? Apparently her and Princess felt some type of way because Neri is Princess's friend and Neri has half black children. And Shayla still said what she said. She said, but the retreat is for black women, not for women who have black children, half black children, three fourth black children. The retreat is for black women and black women healing. Why can't we have our own spaces? Why can't we have our own spaces? <laughs> and to make this scene even more awkward, Princess was explaining why she felt some type of way about Neri being excluded and she began to cry. And I'm so glad Shayla just looked at her, you know, she didn't change her stance. She didn't change her retreat. She looked, she listened, you know, like she said, she empathized with the ladies, but this is still going to be a black woman's retreat. Like y'all could cry, y'all could get on drink champs, y'all could protest. It's still gonna be a black woman's retreat. I didn't, I didn't understand the tears, I didn't. I personally don't see anything wrong with niche groups creating niche spaces to unpack and to heal. Everything ain't for everybody, okay? Just because you have black kids, that does not mean that you can identify with what I go through as a black woman. Neri has black children. I feel like healing can come. Oh my God, don't cry, you're gonna make me cry. I feel like healing can come from different places. And in order to heal us, we should also teach women who are raising black children. I also want to just interject and say I appreciate how respectful this conversation was. You know, Love & Hip Hop is known for women just being vile and nasty to one another. So it was nice to see three women, you know, come to the table, sit down respectfully and agree to disagree. Now, with that being said, if I was at that table, I would, I would have respectfully said, and I hear you, princess. I hear you. I see you. Right. But this retreat is not to teach non-black women who have black children. Y'all can create a separate retreat for that, you know? Because that is important. That is important, right? But this retreat, <laughs> this retreat eh, is for black women who need healing, sisterhood and bonding that's what the retreat is for i don't understand why they're crying i don't understand why the, i don't i just don't i don't see the wahala i don't i don't see it now i did see comments of people saying you know but shayla is biracial her mom is white that's a conversation that we can have but she is black presenting if she's walking down the street with her mom guess what She's black and her mom's white. She's dark skinned and she has type four hair. So guess what? She's gonna be treated like, just like the women who are dark skinned with type four hair. So this is something that she's passionate about. You know what I mean? So for someone who is on the lighter and wider side of the scale, the more privileged side of the scale, to wanna be in a space where she can't relay, I can't relate. And it's unfortunate that Shayla had to spend so much time explaining, you know, that I don't mean you guys any harm. Like, I love you guys. I love all women. I don't mean y'all no harm. I'm not trying to exclude y'all, but we need to fix this right here. 
You know what I mean? It's like when you're building a house, you know, okay, there's seven rooms. Each room needs to be fixed. When I'm upstairs painting the attic, it, it, you know, I'm not like, oh, what about the basement? The basement ain't screaming. What about me? I, yeah, we got to fix that too, but that's a different set of paint. That's a different set of tools. Like I got to work on the attic first. You feel me? Now, Princess was in the comments section, and I do believe she was being a little bit messy. She responded to someone's comment and said, I never said I was against what Shayla was saying. I was just making a suggestion since Shayla and I both have our trauma that stems from our non-black mothers. It's her event, and ultimately, she can do whatever she wants. Now, Princess emphasized both and our to remind people in the comments that, listen, Shayla is half white. Yes, she looks black, but she's half white. But that's a part of the struggle. The fact that she looks black, she's going to be treated like she's black. Yeah. But Princess, I see what you was trying to do there. I see. Someone in the comment section said, Princess should put her own event together about non-black moms raising black children. It seems like something she's really passionate about. Maybe her and Neri can set that up. And Shayla commented, here. And they also said, the only thing wrong here is that she even told her about the event in the first place. She should have just invited the people she wanted to and not even mentioned it to her because of course, she's not going to get it. And I agree. We see the memes all the time, but especially going into the new year, ladies, it's important to keep them lips shut, girl. Invite who you gonna invite, go where you gonna go, you know, create what you gonna create. But we don't got time to be telling everybody because everybody doesn't have good intentions for you. You have to understand that. Some people just wanna be there. Like, what are you here for? You know, y'all wanna be in black spaces. Y'all wanna be the face of black women. Y'all wanna be the new black mothers. But when it really boils down to it, do y'all have that same energy? Like, when it's really time to be black? Or is it just fun when it's, when it's, when we going on a retreat, we going on a trip, you know, when we all grouped up with all the girlies and it, but what about when we all standing in line and can't get in the club? Okay. Y'all don't want to be black. That Okay. You know what? Let me end this video here. Clearly Nori and Neri, they got, they, they need to have a conversation. They need to have a conversation and they're grown. So they know what that conversation needs to entail, but I, I, they got to have a conversation. Y'all let me know what you thought about this down in the comment section. How do you feel about Mayweather checking his boy Nori on his colorism? How do you feel about Nori encouraging his wife, you know, saying that you should be on that retreat. You have black children, but you just, but you're not black, but you are black, but she's not black, but she's a black mother, but she's not, but her kids, is, but the retreat is for all black women. I, I'm confused. It's a little late. <laughs> I just wanted to bring y'all all up to speed. I wanted to bring this conversation to my channel. Y'all let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you at the next one, child. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I forgot one last point. I also just wanna give a shout out to all the girls that have been on here creating content, talking about colorism, talking about anti-blackness, right? Talking about all of these isms, you know? And even though sometimes we get discouraging comments, we get people saying, oh, you're delusional, you're jealous, blah, 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 right? We are the reasons why a lot of mainstream uh, influencers or artists or athletes, right, are now speaking about this. You know, we've been educating people about this. We've been talking about this for years, and it is penetrating. You got, you may have a person with coarse, and you may have someone with curly. Mm. You got different textures. That's it. But it's not a such thing as good and bad. Right. It's just different textures.